Let's start warming up as usual. Start moving slowly and then we can move more intensely. So just let's get all the muscles of our body warmed up. Take deep breath, take slow breath. Breathe consciously, slow and deep. So when we bring our attention to our breath, that is a good practice to live in present also. Let's do about 150 bastrika repetitions, which is fire breathing exercise. You're going to breathe quick, and we are going to breathe slow, slow uh, not slow, quick and short breath as we bounce up. Shake your legs, relax the muscles of your calf. So when we do such bounces, that helps on your joints, make them stronger, especially your knees and your ankles. So let's do now about 20, 30 uh, jumping jacks. So this is simple way. Move your arms, move your legs to your right, to your left, or otherwise typical way. Breathe out as you bring your arms down and breathe in as you bring your arms up. your legs again. Now we are going to twist and bring your knee to your opposite elbow and elbow to your knee. So move your upper body, move your lower body. So you are twisting. So let's do so one leg. You can bounce. Just you don't even have to lift your foot off the floor if you don't want to. But if you want, you can go ahead. Shake your legs, take deep breath. Let's go sideways. Bring your leg to your right, to your left. Swing your arms along with your leg. If you move your leg to your right, move your arms along with your leg. So either you can just stand at one place and move your legs, or you can go bouncing with your legs 
on your feet. Now let's just march at one place. Lift your knees, bring your arms with your shoulders. So this helps your whole body to get warmed up. Now let's just move your upper body. Place your feet slightly apart. You're gonna swing your arms to your right along with your head. One arm behind your back, other hand over your shoulder. So keep your ankles stable so you don't move your feet. It's only mainly for your upper body, especially your lower back, your shoulders, your neck. Breathe out. Each time you go to your right, to your left. So when we move our arm from your shoulder outwards, that is called external rotation. When we move them internally, so that is internal rotation. So if both rotations are very important. So when you bring your arm behind, make sure, bring it as much as possible. Let's do a similar exercise, but this time I'm gonna keep your arms parallel to your shoulders. And go to your right. Make again sure that your feet are stable. Breathe out each time. Let your body go as far as can go. To your right, to your left. The more you move in different directions, better your joints get. Okay, now let's balance on one foot and swing your leg back and forth. Make sure toes are upwards. So from your hang ankle, move, keep your foot upwards. So let's swing your one leg from moving your arms from your shoulders also. We can take support if you are not able to balance. And same thing on other side. Let's balance on other foot. Let's move your leg from your hip. And now let's move your leg quickly from your hip. So we're going to kick forward and then to your opposite direction. So let's place your one foot forward, one backwards, not necessarily which foot you do first and which one you do the second. So let's quick <laughs> move up and then sideways. Let's do the second one on other foot. So one foot forward, one backwards. Quickly go up and then sideways. Let's do the other one. There's one more there. 
Let's do the iron. One more time. Up and then sideways. So the quick jerky movement, adjust your lower back. Let's go now. Sideways stretch, bring your left arm up as you breathe in. Hold your breath in. And then go to your right, breathe out. Then your head upwards also. Keep on continuously stretching. Inhale, and then come back. So when we, when we hold, that does not mean you hold only. That means you keep on stretching in the same direction. Keep on making effort. Let's go with your right arm up. Inhale. Turn your head. Close your eyes. Breathe out. Bring your arm back. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. Keep your body weight equal on your both feet. Bring your right arm up. Look towards your right side, upwards. Breathe out. Breathe in. You can do the same exercise to get more stretch. Let's place your left foot over to your right. Left arm up, and then stretch towards your right side. Inhale, and come down. Let's do your right foot over to your left. Breathe in. In your head, breathe out. Breathe in and bring it back. Let's do your both arms together. So bring your arms parallel to your shoulders, turn your palms up. So first you're gonna look up all the way and then bring your arms all the way up into like your fingers and bring your arms backwards. And then come back. So that makes a big difference. When you bring your arms up, you bring your chin up before you bring your arms up. So let's look up all the way. Bring your chin backwards, bring your arms upwards, and stretch all the way up. And then release down. So try this time. First, bring your arms up, and then look up. So you will have a different effect of these movements when your muscles are squeezed and then you're squeezing with your arms as compared to you squeeze first your shoulders and then your neck. So first do your neck upwards, I mean your chin up and then your arms up. All right, let's bring your feet apart. And what we will do is we are going to do 15 times on each side, opposite toe touch. So first let's go down into tabletop. So tabletop means you're gonna keep your back flat, arms parallel to your shoulders. So go as low as you can, and then touch your right toes with your left hand, left toes, with your right, left, right hand, and then left hand, then right hand for five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, more, 15, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So that helps not only your lower back, but absolutely your hamstrings, they go together. Mm -hmm. Let's place your hands down on the floor while keeping your knees straight, back flat. So we'll do similar exercise, stretch your left hand forward from your shoulder, not only the shoulder, but the lower part of shoulder and lower back and right hand behind. Let's switch. Right one forward, left one backwards. Let's do 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's place your hands again back in the middle. Let's do your both hands this time together, forward and backwards. So bring your arms as far as possible forward, then backwards. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's place your hands down. So this time we're gonna place your left hand in the middle and stretch your right one up, and then look up as you twist. Turn your head all the way towards your right hand. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Breathe out, twist. One more time, left hand down. Right arm up. And then the left side. And let's place your hands down again. So the more you do, more comfortable you're gonna feel in this position. So let's start walking your hands forward. Keep your feet apart. And then move your whole body forward. And then drop your hips down, your chest up. Let's go back. It's like an upwards dog with keep, keeping your feet apart. Let's go forward. And then downward start. Let's go back. One more time forward. And this time, let's place your knees also down. So we're now going to keep your feet apart and knees apart. So let's go backwards as far as you gently can go and then forward. So your backwards movement will be restricted. So just be gentle. But forward, it will be same. Let's do it three times. Okay. Now let's bring your feet together and knees even further apart. Let's go forward. And let's go back. You can go more now this time backwards. Go forward, backwards. One more time, forward. And backwards, when you go back, let's keep your hips back, place your elbows also down. And let's make your knees further apart. As far as they can go. 
Let's make your elbows apart. And one palm on back of your other hand, chin on back of your hands. And let's go down on your chest also. So this will help your neck, your hip joints. It's a great pose for all the joints. Also relaxing as well. And now let's place your hands outside of your chest and come up. Let's bring your one foot behind, one backwards, so you can go all the way back onto your hips, adjust your feet in a position so you can go all the way back onto your hips. And let's go forward from here again. Place your hands forward, drop your hips, bring your chest high, bring your shoulders down, neck extended, and let's go back while keeping your head down. Let's go forward. Let's go backwards. One more time forward. And then backwards. Uh, Bhaiya, I have a quick question here. Mm -hmm. When we were like bending down like tabletop and we were like, you know, uh, touching one toe with right hand and left arm up, I felt a lot of stretch on my uh, knees, both knees. Very good. I feel like more than stretch, I would say tightness, like, you know, so that's like good thing because my knees are always an issue. So that's okay, right? Absolutely. Okay. Any... Any stretch in your calf, back of your knees, your hamstrings, mm -hmm. your uh, hips. Everyone has different tightness in different muscles. So just depends whatever the tight muscles are, that's what you're going to feel. More. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bia. All right. Let's, let's do one good exercise here for your hip joint. As you age, your hip joint gets uh, painful sometimes. Let's hold your foot in your one hand and your knee in other hand, and then lift it up. And then move it in and out, in and out. And let's do the same thing with your other leg. So if sometime you're not able to sit in half lotus or full lotus, so this is a good exercise to we'll get started with. So in and out, knee in, knee out, keep your foot upwards. So that way also your knee, a uh, slight gentle twist on your knee, knee is very healthy because more you keep your feet, I mean your body stagnant, worse it gets. So same exercise, you can do slightly different way. Let's bring your right leg up. So this time, if you can place your foot on your forearm or you're on your fold, and then tie on your other arm, and then move it in and out. So you should be able to feel, the higher you bring, more you feel your hip joint. Or you can just hold, otherwise, if you are not able to place your foot and knee on your fold, let's do the same thing on your other one. There's another great exercise for your hip joint. So let's hold your one leg backwards. 
and you want to keep your foot at 90 degree and your knee at aligned with your hip. So first of all, you should feel the stretch in your left side. Let's place your other hand between your legs and then lift your knee up. So that is called 90, 90. So front knee is 90 degree, your ah, other knee also at 90 degree. And another thing you can do is move your whole upper body forward and backwards. Forwards, backwards. And let's do the same thing on your other side. Let's your both knees align with your hips. And then first lift your knee up. Move your upper body back and forth. Okay. Now let's stretch your feet apart. Your left one, your right one. So bring your, your toes towards you and heels away from you. So you have constant stretching in your calf, your knee. So this is again the same exercise what we did in uh, standing position. So bring your left hand forward, right one backwards, and then right one forward, left one backwards. But each time you go, try to go just like in one centimeter, Two centimeters forward, breathe out. So this is also a great exercise for growings. So when you do, when you stretch, it stretches your growings. So now you slightly go over to your other side also, not straight forward to opposite direction. Right one, right hand towards your left, that one towards your right. So this will help your hamstrings, your lower back, but make sure your lower back is straight. So you don't want to bend forward. You want to keep your chest up. Hold on to your toes if you can. In each hand, and pull your toes towards you and heels away from you. And then see how far you can go forward also from your hips. Think about your hips. That's where you are trying to move your body forward. Hold it and keep on going forward. And then place your both hands down forward. And then elbows. If you can, good, let's come up and put your feet together, hold on to your feet and then swing to your right, swing to your left. And right here, place your right hand behind left hand over your right thigh and twist. And on the other side. And now cross your legs and your hands behind, lift your hips up, drop your head back. So that balances your all the stretches. You stretch sideways, you stretch forward, you stretch backwards. 
Okay, we're gonna go back again in standing position. Place your hands forward. Drop your hips down. Bring your feet apart. Lift your one knee and then other knee. Walk your hands towards your towards your body. And before you go up, let's bring your whole upper body down, your elbows down. Or you can place your hands or your palms down and try to bring your head on the floor if you can. And arms behind, your hands behind. And let's come up onto your palms. Let's bring your toes in first and then your heels. Walk your toes inwards and then your heels. Your toes, your heels. Your toes, your heels. Until they're about six inches apart. Hold down to your hands down in front of your toes. Now bend your knees, but keep them backwards. And let's roll up your body. Yeah, let's bring your arms up as you inhale. Raise your heels up. Now we are going to breathe out quickly as you bend your knees. Move your arms down, inhale. Exhale. Let's do 10 more. Breathe out quickly. Okay, these are good warming up exercises. Let's do one uh, balancing pose. We are going to hold your left foot in your right hand behind your head. Then bring your knee backwards, bring your left arm up. This is a good quad stretch also. Let's do the same thing with your other foot. So think about your ankle to be stable and then look at any one point without blinking your eyes. And then come back. Okay, let's go further using your whole body, your entire upper body muscles, big muscles, and your lower body muscles. Arms apart, feet apart, feet to your left. Look up, bring your left arm up. So back hand downwards. Front arm upwards. Bring your whole body forward. And we are going to bring your left hand inside your foot. So again, in this position also, depending where your tightness is, that's what you're going to feel. And your right arm upwards. Look upwards towards your hand. When you turn your 
head towards with your upper body, that's where that's when it's going to affect your whole back, especially your neck. Let's go to your right side. So look towards your front hand, left hand behind, right arm up, look up, move your arm backwards. Let's move your whole body forward and then down inside your foot and then left arm up, look towards your upper hand, And let's come back. There's so many different question. variations. Yes, sir. So why is one side tighter than the other? It's always the case. We have one side tighter than the other side. We have more muscle. I mean, stronger muscles on one side as compared to other side. Because the side we use most, we are not even conscious about it. Our muscles get bigger and stronger and then stiffer also. So this is always one side is weak, other side is strong. So it's not unusual or this is not uh, anything abnormal. So it's a normal. Let's do the same thing. Front arm up, look up. And then whole body forward. Now here we're gonna switch your arms. Bring your left arm backwards, right arm forward, and then go all the way down. Now left arm up, you're gonna twist and look upwards towards your upper hand. And let's come back, same way. Just, you have to swing your arms, same way. Let's go towards your right side. Back hand behind, right arm up, look up. So th these exercises engage your whole upper body and lower body. Let's go forward, switch your arms, extend your left arm forward as much as possible so you can bring that easily down. Then right arm up, look up. and then come back. All right, so before we go further, let's relax. We'll do the counter pose for our thighs. We're gonna hold your same way, your foot in opposite hand, but in front of your thigh. So make your ankle stable, look at one point without blinking your eyes, then you will be able to do the balancing. So balancing is also important part of your yoga exercises. Let's do the same thing with your right one. So hold your position like about 10 seconds. So we will do now with your both arms, which is great exercise for your shoulders and your neck. Anything good for shoulders, your upper back is great for your neck. Anything good for your upper back is great for your lower back and vice versa. So we're gonna bring your whole body this time to left. So turn your body towards your left. Turn your palms up. Now first look up, start bringing your chin all the way back. And now expand your arms all the way up into like your fingers. And then bring your arms back. Now your body down forward and then down on the floor. So your hand, uh, is outside and inside of your foot. So your foot is between your hands. So now again, you will be feeling either your half, 
back of your knee, back of your thigh, your hamstrings, or base of your hamstrings or your hip. Now let's bring your back heel up. So keep your hips high. See where your hips are now. So bend your front knee and bring your hips as low as possible. And let's go up again in the same, same place where you were before. Bring your hips high, very high. And then low, as low as possible. Let's go up again. Let's go down. Two more times. Go up. Go down. One more time. Up. And then down. Okay, let's place your knee down. Make your front from your back foot flat. Place your right palm down. Left palm on your thigh, and you want to twist. Breathe out. And now let's place your hand back again outside of your foot and bring your hips all the way back. So your front knee is straight. Let's go forward again. Your hips down, your chest up. Let's go back. Your front knee straight, close towards you. One more time. And let's place your hands on to your thigh, both hands. Here, bring your hips forward, chest backwards. Look up, arms outside, stretch apart, and then all the way up. And then come back. Again, your hands down on the floor, so your foot is in between. Back toes on the floor, back knee off the floor. Now let's bring your front foot all the way back. Now bend your upper knee and drop it over to your right side. Now stretch it down on the floor. Let's go forward, drop your hips down. And let's go back again. Downward stock. Then upward stock. One more time. Downward stock. Upward stock. Knees down. And let's go all the way back on the chair into child pose. <laughs> Okay, let's go onto your palms and onto your knees. Here, let's stretch your right leg. Right leg off the floor. Bring your right knee to your right arm and stretch it. Bring it forward, bring it backwards. Bring it forward and bring it backwards. Let's place your knee down. Let's let your left one same way. Leg off the floor. Bring it forward up to your same arm and then stretch back. Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. And then let's go back again. Into child pose. And let's go into your forearms. Let's 
So we'll do plank. So first for 10 seconds, we're gonna hold. Then we are going to bring your hips up and down. And then we are going to bring your hips drop sideways to your right and to your left. So we'll do three exercises in one shot. Right leg straight. Make sure your toes are forward, your heels are backwards, and then the left one. Let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your hips all the way up as high as you can, and then back in the middle. One, go up two, go up three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's drop your hips to your right and then to your left. Let's go for one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's going to child pose. And we are going to go on your back now. Knees to your chest. Bring your right ankle onto your left thigh but keep it towards your chest. Bring your upper body off the floor. So we are going to stretch your right hip and we are going to work on your abdomen at the same time. Stretch your lower leg. Bring your fingers behind your neck and sky. So we are going to twist and try to bring your elbow towards your knee. So let's go towards your knee and then touch your head. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Okay, let's bring your knees to your chest. Bring your left ankle onto your right thigh and hold your foot and knee. So you stretch your left hip by bringing your leg towards your chest. So you're gonna hold this position, except make your lower leg straight. Fingers behind your head. Bring your right elbow towards your left knee. Let's touch your fingers back on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's place your feet together and drop your knees out. Take deep breath. When we say deep breath means Deep in, longer out.
And let's go back onto your knees and your palms. Now well, here, stretch your left leg. And then place your left foot over to your right side. And then look at your foot, turning your whole upper body towards your left foot. So your upper foot is over your other side. And then you are turning your body towards your foot to look at your foot. So you can feel the stretch in your left side. So let's bring your knee back. Stretch your right foot, right knee, and place your right foot over to your left side. Now your upper body, turn all the way towards your left so you can look at your left, right foot. And then come back again. Stretch your right leg. Stretch your left leg. Go into downward stock. Go forward. Upward stock. Downward stock. Lift your right leg all the way up. Bring your knee forward towards the same leg. Bring your leg back. Bring your knee forward to your opposite arm. And then back. One more time, same knee, same arm, opposite arm. Go back. And now this time, place your foot outside of your left hand. Left arm up. Bring your left arm backwards, right arm forward, swing your long arm back to center. We'll do balancing pose here. We're going to hold this time, same foot and same hand for your ankle. Left arm up, knee backwards. Upper body straight. So that covers your whole body, these exercises, your lower back, your thighs, your calf muscles, your feet, shoulders, upper back, your neck, your abs. And that's how you keep your body healthy by engaging your maximum group of muscles together. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side this time. Feet apart, arms apart, feet to your right. Your whole upper body forward. Look up. Arms up. Let's bring your arms all the way up. Arms apart. Let's go forward. Bring your hands down. So your foot is in the middle of your hands. Both knees straight. Now let's bring your back heel up, front knee bent, and hips all the way down. Let's bring your hips all the way up as high as you can. Let's bring your hips down, hips up, hips down. Two more times. Place your back knee on the floor, left palm down, right hand on your right thigh, and then you 
twist towards your right side. And then hands on the floor, back foot flat. Let's bring your hips all the way back. Then all the way forward, hips down, chest high. Let's go back. Let's go forward. One more time. Forward, your both hands onto your front thigh, hips forward, chest backwards, look up, arms apart, then interlock your fingers all the way up. And then down on the floor. Back toes on the floor, knee off the floor, front foot all the way up. Bend your knee, upper knee. Drop it all the way to your other side as much as possible. Straighten it up, down the floor in downwards dog. Go forward to upward stock three times. Let's take our time to do three of these. Go backwards. Go forward. Back. Forward. And now child pose. So we'll do again um low plank but we will do now mainly the side plank let's place your both forearms down and when you place your forearms down make sure your chest is high shoulders are low so it's very important to have a right position to build your muscles in correct way so I'm going to teach you the easy way and the regular way. So what you will do, easy way is go on to your right forearm with keeping your right leg down and left leg up. So this is just a simple way to hold your side plank. So lower leg is down, upper leg is straight. If you want, you can move your upper leg up and down. And we are going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to keep your lower leg down, lower knee down, and you are going to hold your body onto your forearm and onto your knee. So this is something everyone can do it. Otherwise, let's go in, if you're able to do it, with keeping your both knees on the floor, off the floor, go on your side, arm up, then bring your upper arm under your body, and then go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go on the other side. Like arm up, under, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's give a break to your shoulders by going on your back, but we'll continue to work on your abs. Knees to your chest. Stretch your both knees 
upper body of the floor. So this time again, we are going to be twisting both fingers behind both hands, behind your skull and neck. Let's twist, bring your right elbow towards your left knee, back in the middle, left elbow towards your right knee, back in the middle. Make sure you go back in the middle before you switch from right to left, left to right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and more. And breathe out each time you go up. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's place your feet together and knees apart. Take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, let's do one more which will engage your lower abdomen and upper abdomen also. Knees to your chest, legs up, upper body off the floor, left arm behind, right leg down, right hand towards your left knee. But both legs on the off the floor, one is just right off the floor, other one is at 90 degrees. Let's hold it for one, two, three, and four. Switch your legs. One, two, three, and four. Switch again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now one, and two. Now one, and two. Now only one. Only one. Let's go for ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your soles together, knees apart. Take your deep breath. Okay, let's turn down again. Down onto your palms and onto your knees. That your right leg. I'm gonna hold your high plank also. And let's stretch your left knee and hold it here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now walk your hands towards your feet. And away, all the way, in front of your toes. Keep your knees straight. And now let's walk your hands back, forward, into plank. Hold your plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. This time you're gonna walk your feet forward. Keep your knees straight. Keep on walking all the way. Your feet, hold it for a few seconds. And let's walk your feet backwards. Same way. And hold it one more time, your high plank. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your knees down. Going to child pose. Now 
Uh, let's oops, straighten up your elbows. We are going to go into downwards dog from here. Upwards dog. Downwards dog. Your right leg up. Bring your knee to your right arm. Back. Towards your left arm. Right arm. Back. Left arm. And this time, bring your foot outside of your hand. That's your right arm up. Right arm backwards. Left arm forward. Let's go all the way. We'll do let's see, one more good balancing pose. Let's hold your left foot in your right hand and bring it forward and your knee in the same hand and lift your leg as high as you can. And let's put your legs. And bring it down. Then one more last exercise. Let's bring your feet slightly apart. I mean, your toes slightly apart. Your heels together. We're going to hold your earlobes together. I mean, in opposite hand. And bring your hips down, hips up while keeping your back straight and knees backwards, very important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Let's go back to back. Now your feet slightly apart. Hold up your shoulders. Hold down to your earlobes. Let's do 30 of these two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thirty. Let's do one more set with your feet wider than your shoulders. Make sure your hips are backwards. So this is a great cardiovascular exercise. All right, let's go for one, two, three, four. <clears throat> And 30. Deep breath. So whenever you relax, whenever you take break, take active break. That means you are relaxing with easy movements. So you can walk, you can do anything else. 
until your breath gets back to normal. Because uh, the squats bring your heart rate high. So you don't need to run in order to do the cardiovascular. All right, let's sit down. Let's bring your arms apart. Lean towards your left side on your forearms, forearm. Stretch over, stretch over your right arm, over your head, twist to look upwards. Make sure your lower shoulder is low, chest is high. You don't need to shrug your shoulder. Let's go on the other side. Come back. Let's twist. Right hand behind, left hand over your thigh. Make sure your chest is high. And turn your whole upper body over to your right side. Turn your left side. And then hands back, behind your back, knees down and hips up, your head back. And then down. So we'll do Kapal Bhati. Today we have not done for a while a good number of kapal bhatis. So let's do three rounds. Each round is going to be 600 repetitions. So that means altogether 1800. So when you do uh, 16, the last one of 1600, you want to breathe out, hold your breath out, lift your abdomen up. That is called Uddhyan Band. And also at the same time, keep your chin down, that is called chin lock or jalandar band. And then squeeze your lower abdominal muscles as hard as you can, that is called mool band. Uh, yeah, I have a question here. Mm. So we will do kapal bhati first and then this is next, right? If we I'm listening. Do, we are going to do three rounds. Of Kapal Bhati, okay. Yes, so three rounds means 600 of each. Okay. So each round ends with exhalation, holding your breath out, doing your abdominal lift, your mool band, your chin lock, and then slowly inhale, hold your breath in, your chin down, and then let it go. So this is one round of your Kapal Bhati. Okay, okay. And you want to move your, your only your abdomen. You don't have to, you know, move your neck because this is not related to neck. This mm -hmm. is not your shoulders. Mm -hmm. This is only for your abdomen. Okay. Okay, we Thank you. And a lot of people move their also facial muscles. So you don't have to move your facial muscles either. Only your abdomen. So let's focus that we don't move any other muscles. Anything which goes along with your abdomen is fine, your chest, because your diaphragm goes up and down. So definitely your chest also can move. Okay, take your time to do three rounds.
And if you have not completed your three rounds of uh, 600 each, you can do after the class on your own. Now let's uh, conclude our class with chanting OM in three different tones for three times. Middle tone, high tone, and low tone. Take deep breath. Oh. your palms together and place them on your eyes and gently move your palms away from your eyes. Thank you and namaste. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Baya. Very good class and very good stretches. All right, great. Very much appreciate your help. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you.